I'm DJ Schurz. I'm Professor E. This is AdventureBot. And this is the robot program. In this episode, we're going to show you the contents of the AdventureBot box. So let's go to the studio and see what's in there. Let's see what's in the box. Okay, the first thing we see says start here. So let's start here. It's a good place to start in the Getting Started Guide. In here, you will find instructions on how to uh, build the robot and where to access the information from the website, as well as you're going to find the most important part, which is says charge the batteries. So if you don't charge your batteries, you're not going to have a robot to play with. So make sure that's the first thing you do. Okay. Next what do you want up, to start with? We got stickers. Let's go through the stickers. Go stickers? Yeah. Okay. This is fun. You got a car, you got something, a locker, you want to put your stickers or easy robot on something. These are stickers that you can put on. So they come in all the box as well. So these are fun. Okay, this part, we get two parts in one here. Why don't you talk about that first? Okay, this is the body. This contains your battery as well as your power switch and a empty slot here that you will plug the computer into, which is called the EZB. And Professor Yi handed me the EZB. This is it here. This is called the EZB V4. This is essentially a little computer which allows your robot to be able to move and do all the things with the servos and cameras and audio. So you're going to press that in when you actually get to the building process. Okay, next piece. We've got another large piece here. This is the dome. Let's unwrap this. There we go. Okay, now we have a piece that has a large cable attached to it. What can you tell us about that? This is the camera. This is what allows the robot to be able to see so it can understand colors and track objects and even see your face. Okay, we got something with a wheel on it here. Oh, two pieces with wheels on them. These are called continuous rotation servos. They are servos that you'll find in, uh, similar to the servos you'll find in our other robots like JD the humanoid or Six the hexapod. However, these servos will spin around a complete 360 degrees. They operate like motors. The difference is they have gears inside of them and you can control the speed so the robot can drive at different speeds. Okay, and now got this white peg looking thing. A lonely single peg. You will clip this in the back of your robot and it drags along the ground so it can use the two wheels to move. This acts as a caster. Oh, so it's kind of like how some animals use their tail for balance, like a kangaroo. Oh, neat. I didn't know that. Oh, now we've got six different clips here. What Whole are these called? These. these are easy bits. These are cubes, and it allows you to be able to connect multiple cubes or multiple easy bit connections together. And pass me another one, and you can see here I can slide this in and clip it in. And when we get to the building instructions part, we'll show you how to build the robot using these. Cool, so we've got six of those. Mm -hmm. All right, last thing in bubble wrap here. Wire wraps. This will clean up the wires in your robot so it looks less like a spaghetti monster and more like a real robot. And at the beginning we talked about the importance of your batteries. Let's take a look at our battery components now. This is your battery charger. In here you will find the actual charger itself. Open that up, slide it out, and there she is. So you're going to want to plug this into the bottom of your robot and there's another tutorial where we cover how to do that but really quickly I think it's good that I show you is you under the bottom here you have your battery cable hanging out and you're going to want to just position it like so and just press it in with your finger and to disconnect it simply grab it with your two fingers gently rock it out. Don't pull it by its wires and definitely don't just pull it right out. Good, now we need something for the charger to attach to, and we've got our last box here. Here we go. This is the power adapter. We'll plug into the wall of your, your wall outlet in your home, and inside of the box, see if we can get it, there we go, are all the different power adapters for countries. In this episode, we reviewed the contents of your Revolution AdventureBot kit. The first thing you'll find is the Getting Started Guide. This has a basic overview of your robot, as well as links for more information. Your AdventureBot has a body that houses the EZB robot controller. You'll also find a dome 
and a camera that sits on top. AdventureBot is a wheeled robot, so he has two continuous rotation servos. This allows us to control the robot's movement around 360 degrees. AdventureBot uses a single peg to balance out his motion. We also have six easy bit cubes that clip together, and we'll show you how to clip those together in a future episode. You'll need to also make sure you have the important components for charging your battery, the battery charger, as well as the transformer and other adapters, depending what country you're in. Lastly, we have some wire wraps to control and keep your connections nice and tight, as well as some stickers just for fun. Thanks for watching this episode, and we'll see you next time. What type of robot is AdventureBot? Which component type is used for wheeled movement? What is the term for easy robot components? Find the answers at therobotprogram.com.